Hello students of class 9th and 10th ICSC. Welcome to study English with Jashri. Today I am going to start your act 2 scene 5. This scene happens in the street before Sherlock's house and who enters there? The two characters Sherlock and Launcelot enters there. As we have seen in the previous uh, scenes also that Launcelot he has left the service of Sherlock and then he joins the service of Bassanio. So Bassanio is his new master. He went Sherlock's house to give him to welcome uh, Sherlock. Okay, for the party which his new master Bassanio is overthrowing tonight. All right. Now before starting this, I would like to ask you one question. You just answer me in the comment section. I have given these questions in your previous scene also. Okay, so just to remind you, uh, name the person to whom Jessica has given a letter to Launcelot to give. Means you have to name the person whom Jessica is going to marry. Okay, so name the person. Now see, this is in front of Sherlock's house. Who enters Sherlock and Launcelot? Now Sherlock, well thou shalt see, thy eye shall be thy judge. So Sherlock is telling... He is asking to Launcelot that you will see yourself. Well, thou, thou means you, you shall see. You are going to see, you are going to experience now. Thy eyes shall be thy judge. Means you yourself will be your judge. You yourself will see what is going to happen in your new master's house. Okay. The difference of old Sherlock and Bassanio that now, uh, there is nothing to tell you because you are going to experience yourself how you will be treated in your new master's house, Bassanio. Okay, because before he was a servant of Shylock, so he is saying that you yourself will come to know what treatment you will get to Bassanio's house. What Jessica, by uh, between this conversation with Launcelot, he calls his daughter Jessica. Where are you, Jessica? Thou shalt not gormandize. Again, he spoke to Launcelot. Thou shalt not gormandize. Means now you will not be able to eat so much. Gormandize means the person who eats so much, who feeds so much. So now you will not get enough chance to eat so much as thou hast done with me, as you have eaten when you were in my house. When you were my servant, you used to eat so much. What Jessica? Again, he gave a call to Jessica. Where are you, Jessica? And sleep and snore. Again, he talked to Launcelot. These are these the lines which he uh, tell to Launcelot. And sleep and snore. Because when you were at my house, you were my servant, often you used to sleep and snore. Snoring. Snoring is a sound when anyone sleeps. And rent apparel out. And you used to wear new clothes. Apparel means new clothes. Because I... Gave you so much to eat. I gave you new clothes to wear. Everything, every facility you will carrying here, which you are not going to uh, get in your new master Bassanio's house. So he is trying to tell him. He is giving his a comp him a comparison. Why, Jessica? I say again. He called. He gave a uh, call to his daughter. Where are you, Jessica? Now, Launcelot shouts. Why Jessica? Just his father calls him. Launcelot calls him also calls her also. Why Jessica means where are you, Jessica? Sherlock, who bids thee call? Now Sherlock scolds him. Who told you to call her? I do not bid thee call. I don't tell you to call her. This is my duty and she is my daughter. So I have full right to call her. Who are who the hell are you? Uh, who is giving a call to her? Launcelot, your worship was wont to tell me I could do nothing without bidding. So Launcelot is saying when I used to uh, service here, I was supposed to do the things which you order me. And now something, when I am doing something without your order, I am trying to help you. Now you are scolding again. Okay, now with this conversation, who enters in the scene? Enter Jessica. Jessica, call you, what is your will? So Jessica asks, that why are you calling me? What do you want? Sherlock, I am bid forth 
to supper. Bid forth means I am invited. So, Sherlock is saying that I am invited tonight to supper. Supper is dinner. Jessica, there are my keys. So, before going to the dinner, he is giving his keys of his house to her. But wherefore should I go? But where I am going? I am not bid for love. Means I am not being called there just because the pupil love me. They flatter me. They are calling me because they used to flatter me. They want to please me. They have their own intentions and own demands. That is why they are used. They used to flatter me, and that is why they call me there. But yet I will go in hate. But as I hate those people because there is always a racial discrimination. I have discussed before between the Jews and Christian. And Shallock was a Jew, and Bassanio, who is a Christian, so he used to hate him. Because of his caste, also there is a caste difference. Also, so he said that because I hate him to feed upon the prodigal Christian, so I am going to uh, feed upon means I am going to eat the uh, waste the money of a prodigal Christian. Who is prodigal Christian? Many times this question is asked in your paper also that who is prodigal Christian. So you will remember that prodigal is the person who is a spendthrift. Who spent lots of money and who is a spendthrift? You all know that Bassanio is a spendthrift because he used to spend so much of money in a, dealing a luxurious lifestyle, and that is why he spent all his money. Now he wants money, three thousand ducats, which he wanted from Antonio. So the whole story, you know. So who is prodigal? Prodigal is the Bassanio. So Sherlock, uh, Sherlock sh says his will that I just want to uh, what. Uh, I just want to waste the money of a prodigal Christian. Jessica, my girl, look to my house. So, Jessica, you are my girl, you are my daughter. You just look after my house. I am writing oath to go. There is some ill a brewing towards my rest. I am right loath to go. Means I am unwilling to go there. Still, I have to go. Because I just want to waste the money of Bessanio, who is a prodigal Christian. And there is some ill brewing towards my rest. Ill brewing means uh, the wrong forecast, wrong omen. I have some wrong omen. For I did dream of money bags tonight. It is, uh, it is believed that if a person sees money bags in his dream, so that is a good misfortune. That is an indication of a, good, uh, of a bad misfortune that something bad is going to happen. Okay, so that is just supposed to be an indication that something wrong is going to happen if you have dreamed a money bag okay so he is saying that as tonight i have seen a money bag so i have some intentions that after me something wrong can happen to my house so beware now launcelot i beseech you sir go so beseech means request launcelot is saying that i request you sir just you you must go there my young master thought expects your reproach because my Young master who is Bassanio and who is reproach. Reproach he is not uh, as you know that he often uses wrong. So Shalok said so do I his. Means I am also expecting that he is uh, approaching me. Launcelot and they have conspired together. So conspire, conspired here means planning. Launcelot is saying that they are planning together. I will not say you shall see your mask. I do not promise that you shall see a masquerade party. But if you do, because as um, Launcelot is say, saying that to you, there is a masquerade party and I don't want, I don't wish, I don't promise that you should see that mask. But if you do, but if you see that mask, then it was not for nothing that my nose fell up bleeding on Black Monday. So, here Launcelot has given the two references which is used in the bible the first is that it was not for nothing that my nose fell a bleeding so launcelot just because the shylock has given uh, that he has some he has he had a dream of uh, money bags that means he is something is going to something wrong is going to happen uh, after him so in the same way launcelot wanted to say something just to show his knowledge that he knows so much and that is absurd that is of no use whatever the he has used things the first he says okay jessica my nose also starts bleeding and that is also a 
bad omen means that is also a indication or something wrong is going to happen on black monday last at 6 o'clock in the morning so when my nose starts bleeding it was on black monday that was last at 6 o'clock in the morning falling out that year on ash wednesday was four year in the afternoon and then in the afternoon ash wednesday so i will tell you what are the references he has used black monday is the easter monday and uh, according to the bible that easter monday was full dark of mist and uh, hill and it was so bitter cold that many men died on their horseback so this day is taken as a very bad day for christians similarly he has used ash wednesday this is also a festival which falls on the first wednesday and that is just 6 uh, weeks before yeah, easter so it is absurd that he uh, talks about these things that at the same time he is talking about easter monday and on the other time uh, the same day he is talking about ash wednesday so he just wanted to show that he knows so much he has so much of knowledge that is why he has used and that is absurd examples he has given now shylock says what are their masks here you me jessica so what uh, they are going to what is the mask what mask they are going to wear here jessica lock up my doors so he has given some instructions to jessica that when i will not here because he has been invited for dinner at basanio's house so he is going there so after him she should lock up the doors of her house and when you hear the drum and the wild squealing of the rye necked file rye necked file is a flute which is used to play for music so when you will hear the sounds of a flute and the sounds of the drum that means a mask party is uh, on the street clamber not you up to the casements then so he is giving uh, her instructions that do not climb upon the casements what is casement that is the window sills so do not Uh, lean over the window sills so or do not climb upon the window just to show those foolish mask party not thrust your head into the public stair and again do not lean out of the uh, window means do not if you want to see something on the street what you will do you will just lean out of the window so do not do that do case on christian fools and what he call christians as fools so just do not do as to gaze to stare at christian fools with vanished faces vanished means with painted faces because that is a mask party he has got the information from launcelot that mask party is going to held and the people the christians are going to arrange so he has given these instructions to Bessa, to jessica that that just after my uh, after me when i am not at home don't do this but to stop my house ears so what is is the fourth thing means the point wise you can uh, point wise you can write in your book also that whatever the instructions shallock had given jessica but to stop my house's ear ears what are the ears of the houses the windows because from the windows the outside noise come inside so he says that just close the windows of my house i mean my casement casement is the windows let not the sound of a shallow floppery enter and just don't uh, shallow floppery is the sounds of foolish plays so just don't let the let enter the sound of those foolish plays my sober house because my house is very sober it is a very auspicious place and let don't allow these sounds to enter at my house my jacob's staff jacob as we have discussed in the act 2 in the beginning also that it is a main character of bible so he is saying by jacob's staff i swear i have no mind to feasting for tonight that by the staff of the jacob jacob prophet jacob i swear that i don't want to feast with them tonight but i will go but definitely i will go go you before me sira and you go in front of me sir sira sira is uh, he asking for launcelot to go so he says launcelot just go as i am here uh, now so just go in front of me say i will come and just tell them just give them this information that i will come tonight launcelot 
I will go before sir. So Launcelot said that okay before you depart from here I will go sir. Now whispers aside to Jessica and he was standing beside Jessica. So he just say something whispers something into the ears of Jessica which Sherlock was not able to hear. Mistress look out at window. So what instruction he gave Jessica that mistress just look out at window. Okay just go through and see through the window. For all this, for all this means whatever the your father has instruction, has given you instruction that do not lean out of the window or do not see from the windows. I am just telling you that just see through the windows. There will come a Christian by because a Christian who is coming tonight will be worth a Jew's eyes. And who is, uh, why he is coming? He is coming for a Jew's. Okay, so he is giving um indication a hint that lorenzo who is a christian and he is coming tonight for you jessica because jessica is jew now sherlock what says that fool of hagar offspring huh so sherlock asked him that uh, what this hagar 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 is a reference given to the servant's son okay so he has called that what this launcelot told you Jessica, his words were farewell, mistress, nothing else. So Jessica did not tell her, uh, did not tell his fa her father that whatever the instructions Launcelot has given her, what he says, what she says, he says that he has just come uh, to tell me farewell, means goodbye, mistress, and nothing else. Shallow. The patch is kind enough. Patch again, he is referring to Launcelot. That means the fool. That he is kind enough. This fool is kind enough, but a huge feeder means he is a terrible eater he eats so much feeds so much snails slow in profit this is a very important speech of Sherlock many questions can come from this also he is a snail slow in profit means he is very slow just like a snail as you know that snail walks very slowly so he is so slow that he doesn't give any profit to anyone and he sleeps by day the whole day he is used to sleep more than the wild cat just like the wild cat as the wild cats see in the day and wake up at night so just like the wild cat he used to sleep throughout the day drones hive not with me and he is just like the male drones what is the what are the male drones male drones means male bees they do not work the female bees collect the nectar but the male bees are supposed to sit only. They just waste their time and do not do any work. So he has given the example. These examples for Launcelot as he as according to him he is such a person who never works. Therefore I part with him and this is the reason, reason why I left him. I left his services. I part with him means I left his services and part with him. To one that I would have him help to waste. Because, and to one that would I have him help to waste his borrowed purse. And I am happy that he is with a person now that who's, who has taken money from others, who has borrowed money from others. So, so now with this speech, you are able to see that uh, what indications, to whom indications he is giving. He is giving indications for Bassanio because he used to borrow and lend money from others. So he calls him that I am happy that he is going to be a servant of a person who is a borrowed purse. Means whose purse is borrowed from others. Well, Jessica, go in. Perhaps I will return immediately. So he tells Jessica that just go inside the house and I will return immediately. I will just go there and comes very soon. Do as I bid you. So do what I told you just what i told you with the instructions i have given you just do that shut doors after you and when i leave this place just shut the doors fast bind fast find fast bind fast find means the person uh, it is a proverb uh, which means that if you are careful you will keep your things unlocked so you are safe if you want to keep your things safe you should be very conscious and you should lock your things so a proverb never stay so this is a proverb which is good for everyone and that never goes uh, wrong in thrifty minds okay so proverb never stay in thrifty mind and that means the proverb is never old okay if it is followed it is never old now jessica says farewell goodbye 
and if my fortune be the cro be not crossed i have a father you have you a daughter lost so now jessica told which shylock definitely is not going to understand at this moment uh, so what she says that unless i have a bad luck now you have lost your daughter and i have lost my father so this is the indication with jessica is going uh, jessica is telling her, her father right at that moment but but shylock is definitely he is not aware of the planning which is going in the minds of jessica and lorenzo as in the next scene you will see that jessica and lorenzo before the scene also we have they have discussed that jessica is going to elope with lorenzo so this is the indication a hint which jessica gave in her own words which shallow is not able to understand all right so i hope i have made each and every line of this um, scene clear for you and still you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section and don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe my channel all right goodbye so children do like share and subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my educational videos you can ask me the questions in the comment section regarding this i will surely solve your doubts